Many years ago, my then girlfriend decided to pursue her PhD, so we moved to a college town where I didn't know anyone. To be very honest with you, I have difficulty making new male friends as an adult, and one of the things I missed was having a guy my age that I could relate to. But then my girlfriend and I met the McAllisters. They were a husband and wife that were around our age, they lived across the street from us, and they became our go-to couples friends. And whenever the four of us got together for dinners or movies, we would jokingly refer to it as date night. And they were great. And it was a fun group dynamic. Except for one thing. He hugged me way too much. <laughs> whenever the four of us got together, which was often, the first thing he would do without fail was embrace me hard. Like, he, like we hadn't seen each other in years and he would have walked through fire for this hug. <laughs> but the thing that really stood out about it was that no other combination of people hugged. <laughs> he did not hug my girlfriend, his wife and I did not hug, and his wife and my girlfriend did not hug. It was always he and I, he initiated it, and it always lasted just a couple of seconds too long. <laughs> now, to be perfectly clear, I am all for hugging hello and goodbye. I love it, male or female. Who doesn't love a good burst of oxytocin released into their brain? But the thing that r eventually got me about it was that I was never given a choice and I had to hug him whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> but at first, I found it so funny. He was like a real-life Seinfeld character that they would have called the overhugger. <laughs> and I even tried different tactics to see what I could do to get him to not hug me. I tried the handshake, and he would just knock it out of the way and hug me. <laughs> I tried the pivot, and he would just hug me from the side. And one time I was on the phone and I gave him the, I'm on the phone, give me a minute finger. And he waited patiently. And when I was done, he hugged me. <laughs> this went on for months. And it started to grate on my nerves and become annoying, but I never said anything to him about it for two reasons. One, I did not want to disrupt the fun group dynamic that we had. And two, I have an insatiable need to be liked by everyone, so sometimes I will actively avoid confrontation. <laughs> Until that one night where the four of us got together to go see the George Clooney movie Leatherheads. My girlfriend and I arrived at the theater early and we found seats in the middle of an empty row. The McAllisters arrived just before showtime and started making their way down the road towards us. Now the following takes place in about 15 seconds. <laughs> Mrs. McAllister wanted to sit next to my girlfriend, so I turned in my chair and half stood to let her pass. And before I could turn around, without warning, I was attack hugged from the side. I was knocked off balance and pulled so close that I could feel the heat of his breath on my neck and a graze of a lip on my ear as he whispered, I've been looking forward to date night. <laughs> I will admit I overreacted. <laughs> but right then, I felt like I was so violated and I had no choice, and my instinct was to defend myself, so without even thinking, I said, get the fuck off me! <laughs> Things got uncomfortable. <laughs> without looking at me or saying a word, he made his way past me and then went over to sit next to his wife. And then as I sat down, the lights went down, and for the next one hour and 54 minutes, we all awkwardly watched the terribly disappointing Leatherheads. <laughs> Later, 
because there was no way I could avoid this confrontation any longer, he and I stood in his driveway so we could talk about what happened. He started off by making it abundantly clear that the hug was not a homosexual advance. I made it clear that I did not think it was, nor would I care if it were, and even if it was, he was going about it all wrong. <laughs> and then I made the Seinfeld comparison of the overhugger, and he finally got it. And he was embarrassed, and he apologized. And in a moment of vulnerability, he confessed to me, that he has difficulty making new male friends as an adult, that he really liked me, and that the overzealous hugging was just his way of showing excitement that he had found a new friend. And then I felt bad <laughs> because I could totally relate to him. And in a moment of empathy, I said, I like you too, man, and I'm so glad we're friends. And that made him happy. And then as he and I stood in that driveway, reconciled, relating to each other on a deeper level, there was nothing else we could do in that moment <laughs> but hug. <laughs> and this time, it was mutual. Thank you.